It is 649. This is your morning in eight minutes. Right now, an endangered child alert is issued for a missing eight year old boy out of Maryville. Take a look at your screen. Police are looking for Jason Rogerson. He was last seen on Sunday afternoon in Maryville wearing gray shorts, a green jacket and black tennis shoes. The TBI says they believe he's with his non custodial mother, 31 year old Alicia Jones. She's wanted right now for custodial interference by the Maryville Police Department. If you see them or know anything about what happened, call police immediately and happening today. The man accused of shooting and killing a Rural King employee in Powell will be in court this morning. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says Larry McBee tried shoplifting ammunition from the store. 23 year old employee Tristan Smith tried to stop him. Investigate investigators believe that's when McBee shot Smith as he left the store. He was caught a day later. McBee is charged with second degree murder and will be in court today for a preliminary hearing. Well, right now the TBI is working with the Union County Sheriff's Office to investigate a deadly house fire. It happened in Luttrell. Officials tell us it happened on the 300 block of Clinch Valley Road yesterday afternoon. We are working to learn more details about what happened. And in Sevierville, several small brush fires are under control this morning. Dispatch says they happened near Shiloh Drive in Little Cove Road on Saturday. Crews worked with the new incident management team to help coordinate efforts to keep the flames from spreading. Sevier County Emergency Management is thanking everyone involved. Right now, Crime Stoppers in Sevierville need your help finding a suspect who stole thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from the Great Smokies flea market. Security cameras captured it all. Take a look at this. This happened on the night of January 17th. The man on your screen broke into the clothes store and stole knives, watches and AirPods valued around $2,000. Investigators say he eventually left the store and someone in a white van picked him up. If you know anything about what happened, call Crime Stoppers. That number is on the bottom of your screen. We've also got it for you inside the WVLT News app. If you're driving down East Magnolia Avenue today in Knoxville, you're going to see a new speed trailer near the road. KPD is hoping to catch speeding drivers. This comes after a two after two drag racers are facing charges for a deadly crash on that road. One person died, two children are still recovering. KPD tells us speeding on East Magnolia Avenue is an issue. They're hoping the new speed trailer will stop reckless driving. And right now, an elderly woman is in stable condition this morning after going missing early Sunday morning. KPD says 82 year old Bernice Risky walked out of an independent living facility on Middlebrook Pike late at night. Search and rescue crews later found her and took her to the hospital where she is in serious but stable condition. And we're continuing to follow a developing story this morning. The response to Tyree Nichols death in Memphis is reaching into East Tennessee. Dozens of people standing in support during a candlelight vigil outside of the city county building last night. Members of the community and activists stood outside for the vigil. Participants tell us this was to welcome and offer some healing to a hurting community. Nichols died after a violent encounter with Memphis police. That body cam footage was released on Friday. All officers involved are charged with second degree murder and will be in court for a bond hearing on February 17th. Several other first responders who were called to treat Nichols that night at the scene have been relieved of duty pending an investigation. A public funeral for Nichols is set for Wednesday. Happening today, closing arguments will start in the trial of two men charged with shooting and killing a Nashville nurse on her way to work. Devonte Hill and James Cowan are accused of killing Caitlin Kaufman on I-443 years ago. Hill took the stand on Saturday, telling the jury he pulled the trigger and Cowman had nothing to do with it. Both are charged with first degree murder. Right now, some state lawmakers are looking at a new bill that would regulate Delta 8 sales throughout the state. And the new bill would make it a little more expensive and harder for some to get their hands on. East Tennessee State Senator Richard Briggs is sponsoring a bill that would increase Delta 8 sales tax by 5%, raising the minimum age to buy it to 21. This comes as a bill that would ban the product as a whole failed to pass last year. Briggs says he hopes the new bill adds more regulation on these types of products. It's currently in the early stages headed to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Check your Powerball tickets this morning. The state's lottery says someone won $50,000 from the Powerball drawing over the weekend right here in East Tennessee. That winning ticket was sold at the Kroger Grocery Store on Kingston Pike in West Knoxville. The jackpot sits at more than $600 million. That Powerball drawing is tonight. And the road to the Super Bowl is officially set as the Kansas City Chiefs will take on the Philadelphia Eagles in Glendale, Arizona. The Chiefs kicked a game winning field goal last night against the Bengals in the AFC Championship. The Eagles got the victory after beating the 49ers 31 to 7 in the NFC Championship. This year's Super Bowl will be on Sunday, February 12th.
In happening today, the Special Olympics continue in Gatlinburg this morning. More than 180 athletes are here from across the state to participate in the Winter Games. The games are being played at Ober Mountain and Rocky Top Sports World, where participants with disabilities compete in skiing, snowboarding, and speed skating. The Winter Games end tomorrow. You can learn more about how you can get involved in our WVLT News app. WVLT is proud to be your official station of the Vols. The Lady Vols hitting the road for a tough game against the undefeated fourth ranked LSU Tigers tonight in Baton Rouge. This is the second straight top five game as the team lost to fifth ranked UConn on Thursday. Tonight's game is 7 o'clock. You can catch the action on ESPN2. As for Rick Barnes and the fourth ranked Vols, they're looking to build off that massive win over Texas as they jump right back into SEC play. Tennessee travels to the Swamp on Wednesday night, taking on the Florida Gators. That game is 7 o'clock on ESPN2. The Vols then come back home on Saturday afternoon as the Auburn Tigers come to town. It is 6.55. We do want to get a look at your first alert traffic here on WVLT News this morning. Everything's been moving pretty nice on this Monday morning. We do have a down tree. This is on Bear Creek Road right off of Oak Ridge Turnpike. Not a major road, but if you do have any family that travels down here, let them know to be on the lookout. Back into downtown Knoxville, everything is looking smooth. Same story out 40 west of town. Here's a live look, I-640 at Broadway. Looking nice to start your Monday, your Monday morning. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. And the good news is we continue to drop off the rain while we have some wet streets. At least we were down to just some spotty showers for most of your day. But another batch arrives tonight into tomorrow morning. The key here is think of it as waves. We're getting the crest of these waves of rain at times over the next couple of days. It's pretty steady flow across the southeast, but also going into the midweek point is when the ice line could be clipping parts of our area and then one more wave to round it out as we do have a pretty soggy few days ahead. The heaviest rain also is just to our south, but that does leave us with a good half an inch to inch and a half, even some two inches further south. You look at our area over the next several days, pretty soggy. So definitely something to look forward to here is right now it's scattered rain. A few light showers in the valley, scattered light to moderate rain at the Tennessee Kentucky line, widespread 40s. We'll stick with these cloudy views and continue to chip away to just some isolated rain for the rest of your day. It'll be 50 at noon with a high today of 55. But again, we're tracking that rainfall for this week, adding it all up for you, but also that ice line. I've got a close look at where we could have some ice on back roads coming up in your forecast on the CW. All right, Heather, thanks. We're headed on over to WBXX. Hope you have a good day. Have a good one.